the invisible man by h g wells we are on chapter number 15 the man who was running and if you recall what we had done in chapter number 14 is that there was a complete movement of the invisible man along with his accomplice who is marvel uh, they are shown to be moving along the road which reaches you know which takes them away from the village of iping and on the way what they have been doing is taking some rest and the invisible man is actually holding some money and now they have reached a place as i had already told you this place this new town is going to be the last destination of the invisible man because here the climax of the novel the ending of the invisible man story is going to take place he will not move any further and the rest of the story will revolve here so in chapter number 15 the man who was running uh, we come to this place the town of burdock and at the same time we meet Uh, another important character who is dr kem so the character list of chapter number 15 it says dr kem mr marvel and the invisible man apart from the other villagers of course we should, we are not supposed to mention them uh, because they the villagers are always there uh, we have these three main characters in fact in this chapter you can see the names of these three characters the most important characters of the novel are listed right here uh, the invisible man mr marvel and dr kem so let us begin with what happens as we see that the name of the chapter is the man who was running so who is running this is the first question that we encounter in our mind when we read the title who is running so let me tell you that the man is marvel who is seen running but let us leave this thought over here right now and see how the chapter begins the chapter does not begin with the uh, mention of marvel or why he is running or where he has come the chapter begins with the with the introduction of dr kemp dr kemp is going to be a very important character and first of all the author gives us a view of dr kemp and where he is sitting right now the place is the town of burdock and it is a name which you must remember the first name was iping uh, which of course you have uh, by heart you know by now and the second name is burdock which is a very important name as far as the names of places goes it's a very important name and now the scene has shifted from iping and the road to the town of burdock and here we see the the house of dr kemp who is a tall slender young man according to the author so he is introduced in this way he is sitting in his study and a description of his study is given to the reader and you know by this description the reader comes to know that dr kemp of course he has that prefix of doctor in front of his name which also tells us along with the description of his study it tells us that dr kemp is a man of science which means that he is 
uh, involved in some kind of scientific academics and scientific pursuits uh, so what is the stuff that is shown to us in his room or in his study you know there is apparatus you know of course apparatus which is used to conduct experiments there are lots of books there is a microscope uh, you know and material on which he is writing so he is involved in writing something which of course seems to be of some kind of scientific value uh, on which he is writing so the reader can definitely make out that he is a doctor and he has all these things um, in his study and he is deeply involved in it. It shows that this man is a man of science which is important. The author also tells us, you know, while he is introducing uh, Dr. Kemp to us, uh, the author also tells us that he is going to get a fellowship of the Royal Society so some kind of academic achievement is in store for him it tells us that he must be a very intelligent man he must be an intelligent person and he must be recognized in his field. He is definitely going to be rewarded in his field by some kind of scholarship or fellowship. In, uh, he is looking forward to that. And uh, uh, these descriptions, why are they so important? Because the, if you get a question on the character of Dr. Kemp, which is a very important question, you, beside the fact that you have to tell his physical description, you will also have to tell what do we understand about his studies, his career and his achievements. So, uh, he has a big house. So, he appears to be a rich man and of course he is a well established person uh, because he is doing well in his field of academics he is doing well so this is what he uh, come to we come to know um, i have told you so many things about him and from the way he talks We realize that he does not like the ignorant, you know, illiterate villagers. He, he does not like the fact that the villagers are so illiterate as compared to him who is a very logical, rational man of science. How do we come to know this? This is important. How do we come to know his opinion about the villagers? So, after giving an introduction of him, the author tells us that um, Dr. Kemp looks up from his work and through his window, the window of his study of course, through his window he sees a man running towards 